city I think you're beautiful on the days that you don't feel pretty Twinkle, twinkle lady, you are my star And I wouldn't change a thing, I love just the way you are hey -oh. No matter where I go, I feel you near me hey -oh. Don't worry about love, baby, we got plenty You could be the cutest thing I've ever seen Not a normal girl you were made for magazines. You know, growing up in Central Texas, uh, my town is called Bangs, like your grandmama's hair, Bangs. And uh, 1,100 people counting sheep, small, small town. And uh, on Saturday nights, we would have country bands come in and play. Well, on Sunday morning, we went. I had an old school like gospel church, so I would hear gospel singers. My mother was a gospel singer. My grandfather was a gospel singer. And so when you mix country and gospel... <laughs> Here I come out. How you doing? Must have wings. You're looking so fly. Huh? Tell, tell me how it is. There's cute and cute and cute and cute. You could be the cutest thing I've ever seen. Not a normal girl. You were made for my disease. You could be the cutest thing I've ever seen. Not a normal girl. I grown up in Texas. I moved to LA. So moving from California to Nashville uh, in February, uh, it got cold. Okay. First of all, I'm tropical. My ancestors are tropical. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. So um, coming to Nashville, probably the biggest surprise was how diverse the city is. Um, all the different uh, aspects that really make up Nashville has been really exciting. I live in a smaller town outside of here called Franklin, and it's just like the neatest place. But I will say probably the biggest surprise is how good the food is. I don't know how anybody's in shape in Nashville because you get biscuits, and I like biscuits <laughs> and uh, at a lot of restaurants. So, yeah. I have a song called Mr. Red, White, and Blue, and it is a theme song for a company called Heroic Red. Heroic Red is a wine company that $1.50 of each bottle goes to buy a soldier that was wounded in combat a mortgage-free, tax-free home. So I have been lucky enough to even give one of those tax-free, mortgage-free homes away on the 16th green of the Phoenix Open on the Golf Channel live to a Purple Heart recipient. And so giving four away already this year has been just the largest, the biggest honor to know that a song that I wrote literally on a dirt road in Bangs, Texas, has reached so many people. It just hit over 4 million views on Facebook and um, over 11 million people reached that have just watched the video and clicked through. So it has been such an honor to be a part of something bigger than me. Uh, you know what? I didn't get a chance to choose the wine. I mean, I think they had a bunch of wives and moms <laughs> and, and <laughs> go in and taste it. They was like, mm, this is the one, baby. And I just go with them, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I just let them choose. But uh, it is a red wine blend. It's amazing. And uh, they have just supported me so much and got my name out there as well. So very honored to be a part of something that's bigger than any of us could really imagine. It's kind of growing. I love writing songs. I've written songs for everything from hip hop artists to pop artists to to um, to Spanish artists to to whatever. And coming here, it's just the lyric wins. And I love the fact that um, even some of the co-writes have been great. I bumped into this old cowboy at a at a at the listening room one night. He and I hit it off, and he was like, "You know what? Come by my house and let's write." I went over there. We wrote a great great song in thirty minutes. We ended up talking for four hours, and his name happened to be Paul Overstreet. Really? Like, only in Nashville does that happen. You know, and me and him were the only two people with cowboy hats on. So I was like, dude. He's like, dude. I was like, dude. He's like, dude. So then we went and wrote a song called Dude. <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> so, but that's Nashville. And then I got a chance to sit with him and, and learn, like, who gets to sit with the guy that's written 24 number ones and 50 songs that have charted in the top 10? Like, nobody. You know, he's, he's a unicorn. It's like barely anybody sees him. So it's been an honor to be here, and um, but I wake up every day and I work my butt off. And if you do that here in this town, good things will happen for you. Magazine Girl is if Chris Brown and Jason Aldean got in a fight and then morphed into one, like I would pop out, hi, that's Magazine Girl. It, it, it's one of those, I, I sing with a gospel R&B voice over country music, so it has this blend that isn't really, that no one's heard before, which is great. So it's kind of my thumbprint. And Magazine Girl came from, 
I have friends of mine that are in the industry, they're actresses, um, they're singers, and they really deal with self-esteem. They get beat up in the media. Um, Serena Williams got beat up in the media about not looking feminine. She's a woman. She just happens to be an athlete. Ronda Rousey was the same way. It's like, what do you want these girls to look like? Either you're too skinny or you're too fat or you're too this, you're too that. And I wrote Magazine Girl to say, listen, I don't care what shape, what size, you're made for magazines. Like You have to understand that, that beauty comes in every shape, size, color, creed. It doesn't matter. Race. So I wrote that to really give fuel to to my sister's self-esteem. My influences, Dwight Yoakam. Come on, people. That's why I wear these pants tight. Okay? Check the honey. I'm just trying to tell you. Okay? That's my dude. So you got... Honky Tonk, okay, Honky Tonk's massive in Texas. So I'm a big, big time um, Dwight Yoakam fan. Okay, love him. Thousand Miles from Nowhere changed my life. Look it up. Come on, somebody. Guitars and Cadillacs, of course. Uh, little Sister jamming. Uh, what else? I love performers. So I love guys that just come in and set it off. So, of course, Garth Brooks. I love Sheryl Crow. love Chris Ledoux. Like, some of these people I may even name that you don't even know. Pat Green, Wave on Wave, changed my life. Like, he was a mega star in Texas, like, when I grew up. Like, it made no sense. Like, he showed up and 10,000 rednecks popped out. Like, hey, we're going to drink. Sing something. Like, that was him. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. So let's go back. Tracy Chapman. Wow. Really? So many amazing artists that I got a chance to, to, to listen to and, and Pink Floyd Wish You Were Here changed my life. So it's a lot of influences from just music, period. And I think there's two types of music. There's good music and bad music. We just happen to put them in genre. My name is Coffee with an E-Y. Pronounce Coffee. C-O-F-F-E-Y. Okay? So put my name in iTunes. The album is called Boots and Jeans. Okay? That's how I roll. Boots, Jeans. That's the album. Okay? Go download it. Mr. Red, White, and Blue is there. Now, the new album coming out in the second week of January has Magazine Girl on it, which is the smash that I'm so excited about. The music video will be released in a week. So very, very excited about that. GAC is actually going to release the video as well, which is great. I went and sang for them in Knoxville. So just meeting people, getting out, letting them know what you do and who you are really, really goes a long way in this town. It's been a, such a blessing to be a part of it. But download my music. My website is iCafe.com, like iPod, iMac, iWatch i coffee and um so very very easy very very easy to find i mean it ain't too many six five caramel cowboys you know what i'm talking about what's up girl anyway so very easy to find let me know email me instagram me it's great